What do you want? You want this one or the other one? There you go. Oh, we all have margaritas. Hey, Lyle, let's take the girls and go driving later. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, you're from my neck of the woods, right? I am, yeah. I, uh, I was born in Queens. Queens, New York. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, and did you grow up in Massachusetts? Though? I grew up in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I was born in Queens. Now, where in Massachusetts? Framingham. Oh, I know Framingham. Yeah. I used to work at the Chateau de Ville. The, I, my prom at the Chateau de Ville. <laughs> it really is. They had the function room at the Chateau de Ville. Yeah. And they always have the cheap fountain with the champagne. You know, what function the, did you uh, did you? Do? Oh, I, I just opened for, when, it, when it was in mm. nightclub. I was opening for people. They oh. used to play there all the time. Great. And, and, our, and our backgrounds are the same. You're half Italian and half... Half Italian, half English. Yeah, yeah. I'm half Italian, yeah. half Scotch. Half Scotch, oh. And which side is the Italian? Uh, my mom is the Italian, so she's the, uh, the emotional, passionate, oh, it's, 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 wild yeah, and crazy yeah. loud side. Yeah. And uh, my dad is English, the proper, you know, introverted sort. Well, that's an interesting combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good yeah. one. It makes a good... seems yeah. to work. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's interesting. Do so you ever find having a Scottish... Uh, uh, the, your Scottish mom and right. Italian dad, that you, you feel in conflict with your personality, that you sort of feel like... Yes, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it is very strange. Part of you wants to be kind of proper, and the other part is loud and talk and <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yes, I get that. The, the mm. Scotch shadows go, the waist, Jamie, look at the waist, you waist. Look at him, oh my God. Have some haggis for you looking so thin. Oh, very good, very really good. <laughs> now, you just got married, right? I did, yeah. Got married a year ago. <laughs> Your husband, is he in show business? My husband uh, is president of Savoy Pictures. Oh, yeah. that works. Well, that Robert works out. Ooh, yeah. job for life. That works out good. I got a mogul for a man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that works out good. Yeah. Now, tell me about when you, uh, you, you were at the, uh, at the White House recently. Yeah, it was, it was uh, actually a while ago. My husband produced the movie Rudy. And, oh, that was uh, a great movie about, the, uh, the, about yeah. Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we went there and, and got to show the movie to Clinton. And uh, he liked it a lot. It was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. So. No, how was that? Was it fun? Was it exciting? It was fun. I mean, you're speaking about clumsiness. I, I am really clumsy. I got nervous just walking out here. And uh, I, we, there was a big dinner, and I was sat next to um, the, um, the head of decorum, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I turned to him to say, so what do you do? And in my turning, I knocked over the pitcher of water and my drink all over this Ooh, guy. And good. It was embarrassing. He was the head of decorum. He cleaned it up, yeah. so oh, oh, that it was wasn't right. that yeah. embarrassing. No. Oh, yeah. oh, so sitting yeah. pretty far down the table there. Yeah. yeah. I guess they kept you away from the president. Yeah, they... Far away. Very far, yeah. Kind of at the kitty table off yeah. to the side. Yeah. <laughs> now, you also do the voice of Duckman, right, with Jason? I do. Yeah, Jason Alexander does Duckman, and uh, I do the voice of Bernice, who is the over uh, uh bitch on wheels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lack myself, of a better word. But yeah. lack of a better word, yes. Yeah. Now, uh, what, do you, see, I haven't seen Duckman, so I don't know. Well, Bernice, uh, her, her voice is, um, uh, you listen to me, Duckman, I don't have time to be taking care of you, you downy, downy, tailed nut. The writing is much better than what I come up no, with. No, no, that's good, that's good. That's a, yeah. That would be frightening to wake up to in the morning. <laughs> Because I imagine your husband, you know... I am just like that in the morning, Oh, actually. that'd be frightening, yeah, you know, because yeah. you go to, go to bed with a red dress and you wake up with... <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about Fluke. I, I don't know anything yeah. about this movie. Uh, Fluke opens today, and it's the story of a man who passes away and comes back as a dog. And uh, he realizes that he's... he's as a, all men do. As all men do. <laughs> <laughs> If they don't realize that, their wives let them know very quickly. Um, but uh, so it's, is it a comedy? Is it like a family picture? It's a family picture. Yeah, it's very much like E.T. That kind of movie. It's it's, uh, it's nice. It's very I'm very proud of it. No, oh, okay. And, and you, the wife of the dog? I yes, the wife of the man slash dog. Oh, tricky and love scenes, huh? Very tricky. Real chemistry, though. <laughs> oh yeah. That's Real good. chemistry. Well, Some powerful stuff. Well, that opens today. The movie is uh, Fluke. Nancy, it's nice to see you. Please come Thank back you. and see us again. Will do. Nancy Travers. Right back. Right after this.